Good morning, I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. Good morning. Got a great one for this morning. Got a great start for the day. Um, got something you're going to want to pay attention to. Uh, I wonder if I should tell you now. No, we're going to address it this afternoon. Uh, me, David, and Big Al. So we'll, we'll, you don't want to miss that one. Look what I got. These are a chocolate doogla. I got a buddy of mine I've known for years. I've been calling him, his name is Douglas. But for the last seven or eight years, I've been calling him Dougla. And he's never asked me why. Check out this one. This one is incredible. This one has spines on it. and This is like a ridiculous looking pepper. Look at this. I'm going to rotate. Look at the spines on this thing. Just an evil looking pepper. Super excited about munching it. Now, the, these are grown by Tom Broom from Seriously Hot Peppers. Uh, great friend of mine, a phenomenal grower. Uh, makes great tinctures, great powders. So, and as a result of all those great things, sells great seeds. Because that is where all those things come from. Ooh, this one is oily. Thank God it's small. Now, a little bit of information about this pepper. Uh, I don't really know the origin. I probably could have done some research. I'm sure, believe it or not, in the hundreds of videos I've done, I bet you I've talked about it. So at one point, I probably knew it. Uh, the chocolate doula is a very, very hot pepper. When I say hot, I mean in the neighborhood of a couple million Scoville heat units. So they're, these are as hot as they get. They don't get a lot hotter. I mean, they really don't. Um, and something that I've been saying for years. Is that chocolate pods, for some reason. These are glistening with oil, especially this one. The little one is probably the oiliest. All right, chocolate burn, uh, chocolate pods burn. I think they have a, a burn that's almost disproportionate to the SHUs they carry. You know, if you can you have two pods, both at a million and a half, one's a chocolate, one's not. The chocolate tends to burn you more to me. Uh, anyway, let me show you the inside of this little doogla. Little chocolate bomb. Now these are neat, neat peppers. Super uh, pungent aroma. It's not focusing. Super strong aroma. This has, I got a feeling this one's gonna be floral. All right, well, I've been very lucky so far so, this season, so we'll see. Here's number one. Good morning. Boy, these taste so good. Earthy, but with a sweetness to it. That was delicious. Boy, as far as chocolate pods go, that was yummy. I'm not joking. The other thing about chocolate pot, uh, Douglas I have noticed is that the endorphin rush you get from a, from a Dougla is I've noticed it a couple times where I'm like, that's odd. And the last time, that, and I'm like, man, last time I felt this was also a doula. Maybe I'm just crazy, but here's another one. There'll be pictures on my Instagram, so if you want to get some better pictures of it, better shots, go to Instagram, but that's kind of a good one. Now, the burns in my throat, not in my mouth, so, and the, on my tongue so much. Now these pods don't taste like chocolate, so you know. Um, I don't know if that, you know, 
from pod season not it's it's almost a neat thing that put, there's a break in pod season because when they come around it's like wow it's so exciting so i don't know if it's that that the break that i took that's making all these pods taste so incredible to me but they all taste so good all right so here we got the last one this was the gnarly bumpy angry looking one one more time i'm going to show you the outside look at that right there look at those spines that to me is really cool but look at the inside of this beast pretty neat all right so my throat's burning i'm feeling a little bit in my ear man it would be nice if this pod got me over the edge my ear's burning that's awesome this one seems very juicy Very hot pepper. These are hot peppers. <clears throat> Not as hot as his chocolate uh, primatale. That was just a scorcher. But these are hot. Um, and three of them, you know. Um, the, the taste is, it's earthy. It has some sweetness to it. It's just a lovely pepper. Really a neat flavored pepper. Makes great sauces, makes great powders. Mmm. So, uh, let me go to Tommy's Picks. Tommy the man. All right, where are we? All right, first up, no video today, but first up with Tommy's Picks, Mary Hubbard. I love Mary, Mary's cool. Johnny, would I lie to you? Al says, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Johnny, this was another one of those situations where I, I was, man, my throat's burning really hard, and I love that. Uh, one of those situations where I was looking through the comment section to find this comment, because when the bat, when, the back and forth between you and Al took place. I thought, this is so funny. I know someone is going to highlight that and needs to go into the circle. And Mary did not disappoint. Mary, enjoy the circle. It's good to have you. Next up, Joshua Jones. Johnny is suffering. Uh, Big Al, what, do you, what, do you, uh, what, you thought all this time I was having fun? Excuse me, Johnny to Big Al is suffering. Pardon me. So Johnny to Big Al is suffering. What, you thought I was having fun all this time? And out spits my coffee. Wrong time. Take a drink. Ha ha. Get it, Al. Love it, Joshua. I didn't mean to make you spit your coffee. So this is one of those comments that needs to be highlighted. The reason being, when you said you thought we were having fun, that phrase is such a part of the fabric of the Scoville family. But I felt the need to highlight it. Growing up, Papa Scoville used that expression at least 20 times on us. It was always uh, things as a child you saw your parents do, and when you finally got to try it, and it wasn't as fun or as tasty as <coughs> is exciting, he would always drop that line. Never looking back on it, it's so funny, and it's even funnier now that, uh, that Johnny is now using it on the bus. And thank you for, uh, thank you, welcome back to the circle. Deuce. Joshua J. Is deuce. Joshua Jones, excuse me. Um, I told the story once of when Papa scolded that with me. Uh, he had a, he, I think he was drinking Jack Daniels. The time he was too young. I, I remember thinking, man, wait till he says I want a sip of that. He'll get him. I know Papa Scoville did. Thomas Edward Bailey. I have to assume the thumbs down on this video was an accident. If I don't, if I don't tell myself that, I will lose sleep. And please fix your mistake. You know who you are. Chase the heat for life. People we all know there's trolls out there. They no longer live under bridges. They usually live in mom's basement. But they're negative solely for the purpose of being negative. As riders on the bus, we sort of deal with them and often, uh, often never even bother to acknowledge it anyway. But when someone does acknowledge it and does it in a funny way, I would, uh, well, then just, I, I, I think that comment needs to get into the circle. So welcome to the circle, Mr. Elwood. I think you've been here before. Guys are awesome. Yeah, I feel great. I'm de definitely getting a little loopy from that. those peppers. Those were chocolate Douglas. If you want seeds, pods, don't know what he's got available, you got to reach out to him. Um, tincture, powder. Guy's amazing. And he's just a wonderful human. So reach out to him. His, the links will be in the description box. We're going to wrap it up. It is going to be a fun day. I promise you, check out the video of me, Big Al, and David today. we got some stuff to talk about. About a half a dozen of you know what I'm talking about. Maybe more, but not many. 
we're gonna have some fun with that today. I love you guys. If you have never hit that little teeny pepper there, the big one that's gonna appear here in a second, please do it. When you do that, you become part of this thing. You're part of it. It's a beautiful thing happening here. If you don't wanna miss a video, uh, click the bell for notification. You'll see a Dropbox select all uh, as a safety net. Come back at eight in the morning, uh, noonish and nine at night. And the eight and nine are pretty religious. The, the noonish one, eh, what's up? We can do the best we can. So those ones we upload, right there is uh, Leo Fire, more videos there. Man, let's make it great today. I'm Johnny Scoville, this was Chase Thee.